in this piece. Yeah, that's right. You better walk away. Go and walk away, because I'm going to burn this motherfucker down. King Kong ain't got shit on me. Perfect. Two live from the 225. Your boy D Money back again with your weekly update video. We might have a good one. Giant G. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get into this update. All right, so I went ahead and took the liberty of P6 from them so you don't have to. So let's go ahead and take a look at his skills. So per usual for every big box out, we got manual block, we got power dribble, we got hook shot, we got dunk at will and deny intercept. We got cut in and power block. We got shadow block and catch. Which I can't wait to do this in a game. P6 abilities, we got power rebound, chip out, and tip in. I'm gonna start off with chip out, but I feel like I might end up switching it to power rebound. But I'm gonna try this one out first just to see how this works. All right, so for his first passive, we have Beast Unleashed. So after he makes two short distance dunks, he goes into beast mode, which affects his dribble breakthrough and his cut in ability. His second passive is Quick Dunk. As soon as someone passes you the ball, if you press triangle right before you receive it, he automatically goes up for an explosive dunk. All right, so you know we gotta take a look at the build. So I had about 100 cards stacked up between gold and silver. That's why I was able to pull on them. Eh, something decent, not too bad. Got a little mid-range game with him. And these are his attributes. All right, now for his P-Buffs, we got Jump Shot Block. We got drive-in shot block, shot impediment, short distance dunk, and speed. Now, if I'm able to pull a good jump shot block card, I'm going to probably take one of the jump shot blocks off this and replace it with shot impediment. All right, so first event we got on the docket, power forward play week. Play 10 matches as a power forward and get 20 blocks. The rewards for this event will be sent out on the March 27th maintenance update. Next, we got the Giant G shooting challenge event. This event can be hit or miss. You can come up on some good stuff for Giant G, but be careful because this event does drain your P points. Next is the Giant Evolution event. If you're able to get Giant G to P6, you'll receive an intensive manual on the April 3rd maintenance update. If you get them to P7, you'll get those white angel wings on the April 3rd maintenance update. Next, we got the Power Force Special Login event. Very straightforward. Log in for seven days, receive those seven rewards. Next is the Giant G video challenge event. All you have to do is upload a video featuring Giant G. Make sure you label it either skill, guide, or highlight. Make sure you use the two hashtags, three on three freestyle and hashtag Giant G challenge. The winner of this event will receive 400 P points. You have until April 2nd to get your video uploaded. All right, this is the part where Joy City tries to sell you stuff. First sell on the dock at the premium intensive package, so you already know how these go. 399 P points will net you one intensive manual, six potential beads, and one reset ticket. If you purchase six of those, you'll receive all the additional items on the screen. Next, we got the Giant G Platinum card sale. So if you're looking to get that millionaire tag on your Giant G, you got the Platinum card packs and the Platinum Freestyle card packs are now available. Next, the Giant G Platinum card packs have been added to the special lounge. And with every new character update, you know they put three packages in the shop that will give you P points, intensive manuals, card packs, intensive training balls, and an alternate outfit. And with every new character, we got a character stat boost event. All right, so to complete this event, all you have to do is get Giant G to P5, and you'll collect all the rewards from the event, which is an intensive manual. You get like a 10 pack of gold cards, 40 training balls, and that blue alternate outfit. Next sale we got is the Giant G Challenge Camp. So there's a bundle in the shop for $25 that will net you all those rewards on the screen. Next sale on the docket is the Rose Special Bundle. So for 649 P points, you will get five mileage tickets, three intensive manuals, 15 selectable plaque cards, 10 intensive training balls, 80 skill training balls, 20 gold freestyle tickets, 20 gold tickets, and 50,000 blue coins. Next, we got the Giant G Management Packages. The first package is 149 P points, which I do recommend. The second package is 399 P points, which I do not recommend. 
Next, we got the Sweetness shopping bag. So if you like any of the outfits you see on the screen or you wanna take your chances at an intensive manual, there is a shopping bag in the shop for you. Each purchase of the shopping bag does go towards the model shop. All right, that'll do it. So if you check your mailbox, you should also have the rewards for your treasure hunt operation event. You should also have the rewards for the PG Play Week event. And you should also have the rewards for the Pedro Propose event. You should also have some courtesy card packs in your mailbox for some ability card issues that they had to fix overnight. So make sure you collect those because those do expire. But that's all I got for you. Honestly, I like him. I think he's going to be think he's gonna be a problem low key. I got some ideas for a build that I'm working on for him, but I just got to get the cars for him. Once I get the cars working, I'm going to make it work for me. But that's all I got for you. It's your boy D-Money. Like, comment, and subscribe and like that. We go.